Hey everyone, here's a video I've been looking to do for a while now. It's on uh, carving wood spirits out of bark. This is something that I did about 30 years ago and it's not the greatest example. I mean, I was pretty young when I did this, but you get the general idea. So all you got to do is get an old piece of bark and just start carving into it. Uh, this one here lost an eyeball along the way, no big deal. I managed to glue it back on, but again, over time, it's lost that eye. So I thought, okay, you know what? Maybe it's time to make some more. So a few weeks ago, I carved this guy. And again, basically all I did, I had an old cedar branch and trimmed it off either end and then just took out a knife and started cutting in and ended up with a pair of eyes. Went that way, ended up with a nose and went that way and that way, ended up with a, a mustache and a beard. And then before you know it, I had this guy and then this guy, and then this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. Whole collection though. And it's a pretty easy way to pass the time if you haven't got anything to do for an hour or so. It just depends on how much detail you want to put into it. I didn't put that much detail into it because again, like I'm just starting out on this. But it was pretty fun to do this and obviously I've done more. And once I get a bit more skilled, then I'll start carving some more details into them. But for now, if that's something you think you can do or want to try, here we go. So I've got a piece of wood here and I've already taken the bark off. This is exactly the same. They're both coming out of a cedar tree. So all you need to do to start off is you just go right across and make a line. And roughly you want a T. You go on a line that way and then you go on sort of a line that way. I'm not going to dig right in because it's kind of awkward on the angle. But you can very lightly draw a line going that way and then again. So what you've just done there is you've made the eyebrows and the nose. And then once you dig in, push in as hard as you can and then come up this way with the blade flat and push up and out it comes. Same thing on the other side. Push in and up, and out it comes. And like I said, you got that nose down there, you push again, and then once you got that line in there, you push along there, and out that comes. And from there, that's basically all you need to do. After that, it's just digging and carving out. Push in again, push in again, push in again, push in again. And that's half your nose right there. You can see the depth I've just made in a couple of minutes, not even. So once you get the nose going, and once you've established where your nose is going to end, again pushing in, and pushing in like that, there you go. You got the end of your nose then you can work whatever kind of facial hair you want into there. Maybe you don't want to make a, a guy wood spirit, maybe you want to make a girl. So that was my attempt at making a, a girl. Just made the nose a little thinner and instead of a, a mustache and a beard, I put hair going across that way. And then you slim the face out, bring it, bring it in a little bit instead of keeping it wide. There's that one. So that was my attempt at a female wood spirit. Can obviously use a bit of work, but again, these are all works in progress. So I just tend to go with what the wood's offering me at the time. I mean, obviously, like I said, you can see this one sort of bent backwards. So I'll probably get some kind of crazy hairdo going that way. But. Again, you can follow the natural lines in the wood. Yeah, I've just seen something here, so I'm just gonna carve out like that. And out that comes. And you, know, you do a couple more of those. Sort of like this one right here, I carved a crown into. Tried to make it all even points. But you're only limited by your imagination. Well, 
maybe a little bit of skill level, but obviously like you can see mine, they're not, uh, they're not Michelangelo's David by any means. So with time and with practice, everybody gets better. But at the same time, it's a bit of fun. You, know, you don't have to work too hard to do this. You can have it done in a night. If you just want a rustic look to it, that's fine. Uh, again, you push in with the blade. And there's half of the mustache chipped out. And then you do that on the other side, same thing. And there you go. Woodman has the top of a, a mustache there. So again, we can take it down the side, take off a few more layers there. So that's easy enough. That cut is basically straight like that. Again, the eyeballs are more digging in. You want to go not quite straight down, but maybe on a 45 degree angle. And you're just going to keep digging and digging and you get more depth further you go. And again, you come in there, you try to keep obviously everything in line with that T. So the nose is center, you got the two eyes there, and then you want to have the mustache about there. So that's the bottom of the mustache. You set that up. Dig that out like so. And then you can just draw, I don't know, if you want a big long beard, you sort of taper it down into a point at the bottom. If you want to cut them off halfway there, cut them off halfway there. And then it's, again, it's just a matter of digging around the edges. The more you dig, the more depth you have. And I think everybody who does these kinds of carvings will say the same thing. You want to create depth, which gives you character, character. So you see that. And you see that there. Oops. Just keep digging in, dig into the bottom of his nose too, make sure he doesn't have any whiskers tickling the underside of his nose because that would be a, a real pain. Imagine having splinters up your nose all day. And then there, dig down like that. Take down like that. And once you've got enough down the side as well, then you can dig sort of under, on an angle under the nose. And that will once again make depth. You can see that. as opposed to is it just the, the straight up nose on the other side. If you dig in, you can see how that creates more depth again. So you just push. Hopefully you don't get a knot, which I think I've just run into. Like so. And, lucky for me, I've got a small set of carving chisels over here. You can play with those as well. I don't quite have a small enough V-tool to get right in that corner. 
but we can see what this one will do. If we can get anything at all. It's taking a little bit out of there. Sorry. See if I can get that on camera for you. There you go. Taking a little bit out the nose. And then it can come back with your other tools. And just cut that right out. There you go. So again, same thing, just push down. And I think everybody will tell you the same thing. Everybody will say you should be wearing a glove for safety. And everybody who does this is never wearing a glove. I've never cut myself carving, but I have worked in kitchens for many, many years. And I have taken the tops of my fingers off more times than I have fingers actually. So do be sure you're careful. Always remember it's a knife you've got in your hand and you need to be responsible. Don't make silly cuts that you know will probably end in an injury. You, know, you don't want to be holding it like this and just pushing directly down because if that slips off you're taking the end of your finger off. There you go. Safety lesson for the day. Be careful with knives. Anyway, you get the idea once again. Uh, I will probably be sitting here with this for another couple of hours. So I'm not really going to have you watch the whole process. But I've basically dug out what you need to see dug out. And again... I will show you what you need to know and then you go off and do your own thing. Because that's all that matters in the end, you do your own thing. You don't want to be doing what somebody else is doing, you want to do what you'd like to do. So there's a piece out of there. And I think we'll try that V tool again. What do you think? Sound good? Sounds good to me. There's a good line down the side. Take that chunk out of there. And don't forget as well, if you are going to do this kind of thing, make sure you have a straw. And every 10-15 you know, minutes, just give it a light go. Uh, I showed you in my other video how to make a little homemade straw. You just give it a little rub down like this, put your cloning compound on top. And if you keep on top of it, you shouldn't need too many. Just enough to bring the edge back to life and you should be good. Give that a go. See, right away, there's a difference. You don't want any of that flaking. You just want a nice clean cut, clean lines. Nothing more dangerous than a dull knife. Everybody will tell you that. Probably every chef, every carpenter, every Surgeon, you get a dull knife, it's going to make a mess. Keep your knife sharp. Okay, so beard is basically carved out. Mustache is done. Nose is done. That's the rough out. And again, from there, all you have to do is decide how much work you want to put into it. And, you know, again, 
that was my first one. That was fairly deep. Uh, let me see. There's another one here. This guy I went really deep on, so you can really tell, you know, where the beard ends, where the mustache ends, where the nose ends, so on and so forth. Uh, there's another one very well defined. This guy actually ended up getting some mineral oil on him, so that's why you can see it, there's a different shade. I'm still trying to decide how natural I want to leave these because these are cedar. But this is the only one that I put oil on. The rest of them are all natural, but even with the rest of them you can see there's a slightly different color in the aging. So. Maybe it depends on the piece of wood, it depends on how dry it is already, uh, but they all dry a little bit different. And I'm thinking maybe I should put some stain on, maybe I shouldn't. But we'll see. We'll see how far I get. You can always leave me a comment and say, oh, you'd like to see this one stained or you want to see that one stained. Or just do a clear coat. But that's basically it for now, so let me know what you think. Leave me a comment, leave me a like. Subscribe if you can. Thanks for watching.